why does my body act like there's a tiger in the kitchen just because my phone buzzed? Because our brain's middle managers don't do chill. Let's meet those middle managers. Meet the hypothalamus. This little switchboard does more than just handle stress. It oversees hunger, sleep, hormones, body temperature. It's basically the whole mind-body control tower. When the amygdala screams, danger, the hypothalamus grabs its red phone and flips every switch that launches the HPA axis. It's like a command center that routes every neurotransmitter call through the body's alarm system. Now over here's the BNST, and that's short for bad nucleus of stria terminalis. And yeah, no one has time for that, so we call it the BNST. BNST is home of our fear memory. If the amygdala freaks out over what just happened, the BNST remembers what usually happens next. It's the brain's pattern recognition department, the one that anticipates danger based off old data. So when trauma repeats, the BNST starts predicting pain before it happens. That's why you can feel unsafe when nothing is happening. Your body's not reacting to the moment. It's reacting to the pattern. So in office terms, the hypothalamus is the overworked manager juggling 800 projects and accidentally prioritizing panic over everything else. The BNST is the intern pacing the hallway, muttering, should I pull the fire alarm again just to be safe? Both areas, meanwhile, they're trying to keep you alive. But after trauma, the dials get stuck. The hypothalamus keeps reflipping the alarm and the BNST keeps replaying old fear memories like reruns. It's not overreacting, it's overprotecting, but living in permanent readiness drains the whole system. Tomorrow, we'll follow the HPA axis, the chemical relay race from CRH to pituitary to adrenals, firing adrenaline and cortisol through the system. That's where the body starts living on stress fuel and we'll finally see how the chemistry locks fear in the bloodstream.